Hello. Today I'm going to be solving a simple problem from the book here, Number Theory by George E. Andrews. That will be problem number one. It's a pretty simple problem that relies on mathematical induction for its proof. And um, I think you guys will enjoy it. So the problem goes, we want to show that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus n minus 1 squared plus n squared is equal to n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. So this is what we want to prove. And so if you want, just for your own sakes, you know, try to solve the problem on your own. But I'll begin now. The first thing, just a sort of rule of thumb kind of thing, just to check to see if this even is true. We can start substituting in values. So just for the sake of it, we'll we'll do one. So that'd be one. One plus one. Two one plus one over six, which is one times two times three over six, which is six over six, which is one. So it checks out. You can do more if you want, but you know one is sufficient. One or two, three to detect the pattern usually. But we'll keep it at that. So the first thing to do. Now that we check that it somewhat works, is to start with the first inductive step, which we take some random but arbitrary value, k, and we're going to assume that it holds true for this. Assume it holds true. So we can say that. For this C or for the sequence k, we just can we can substitute the k values there. It's equal to k, k plus one, two k plus one over six. We'll say that it holds true for this, and we'll play around with this later. Now, hopefully that was up there for long enough. Now for the inductive step. Now we need to show that s of k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1, k plus 2, oops, let's do that, k plus 1, 2, k plus 1, plus 1, over 6. So we need to do this. We need to show that this is the case, and then we can draw this. So at k plus 1, be k plus 1 squared plus, and here's where the first little trick comes about. Because as you can see, this is just k plus squared plus all of its subsequent terms. So rather than write it all out, we can instead write plus s of k, which we know already. So this would be k plus 1 squared plus k, k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 over 6. And just for reference, just so that we have it up here, we want this, we want to manipulate this over here. So that we end up with this form just to make it easier plus 1 2k plus 1 oops is that yeah that's a bit outside the frame I'll write it down here not not the not the nicest but there we go over 6 so, we 
can start off. We can see that we can, let me just write it in the top right corner again. K plus one squared plus K, K plus one. 3k plus 1 over 6. We can factor out a k plus 1 term. So we get k plus 1. And this comes in handy because now we have this k plus 1 term over here. Let's see, we can highlight it in brackets. k plus 1 plus k 2k plus 1 over six. From here, what we do is we, what we want to do is we want to add these two terms together. So we end up with, this will end up with six K plus one. All of this over six plus I'll erase this now. Hopefully you wrote that down. I'll be racing a lot, so feel free to go back and forth between the video. Six K plus one, then that's just let's see, that's two K squared plus K. And then keep writing this as 6k plus 1 plus 6 plus 2k squared plus k over 6. And let's not forget we still have this term out here. We can then solve, factor this, solve this out to be 2k squared plus. 7k plus 6 over 6, of course, with the k plus 1 term that we've already factored. From here, all we have to do is factor out this polynomial, and we end up with 2k plus 3. A plus 2 over 6 times K plus 1. Now it doesn't quite look like the form just yet that we were trying to solve for. But just to make it nice, here's our K plus 1 term. K plus 2, you can rewrite this as K plus 1 plus 1. Since, you know, 1 plus 1 is 2, simple arithmetic. I know some of you math people have probably forgotten how to add by now. 2k plus 3, we can just rewrite this as 2. You know, let's see. Yeah, we can rewrite this as 2k plus 2 plus 1. And this term, just to simplify it and you can factor out the two and you end up with two K plus one plus one all over six, which is S of K plus one, which is what we wanted to show. So this is a very simple mathematical induction proof. It, I mean, it did require, so hopefully nothing was too confusing. Mathematical induction can be a little off, a little tough at first, but you can get the hang of it. I'll be doing a few more example problems from the book and maybe from other areas. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to let me know. Give a like or a comment if you have any questions. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.